so I really struggle to find gloves that are comfortable and functional. Good morning YouTube. Welcome back to Cruise Band's Garage YouTube channel. It is 8.07 in the morning on a Monday. Stayed up a little later last night than usual watching the uh, Cowboys soundly defeat the Philadelphia Eagles. I was really expecting more from uh, Carson Wentz and the Eagles last night but it is a beautiful morning here we got a little rain last night but it, right now it's about uh, I'd say it's about 60 degrees a little cool but nice and I'm using my pin lock visor insert for the first time and uh, I used it this morning as I was riding to coffee we have a lot of traffic this morning that's why I'm sitting here just waiting to get out onto the street and it doesn't look uh, very promising right now but the uh, pin lock visor insert for the HJC IS Max 2 helmet I installed it yesterday and it it was not as intuitive as I thought it was going to be I actually made a video on how to install the pin lock insert for those of you that are interested I should have that up on the uh, YouTube channel a little later today but I got to tell you it does do uh, what it proposes to do which is to prevent the inside of your face shield from fogging up in cold weather now the only problem I have found with it so far other than being a little tricky to install the only thing I found is that uh, when you're riding in the dark because it's usually dark when I ride to coffee in the morning you get a lot of ghosting with the lights in the distance they you get a lot of uh, refractions and reflections of lights and that's the only problem I've really noticed it's not too distracting uh, but it is something I did notice so today I am also testing out for the second time these Kimimoto motorcycle gloves and uh, they sent me three different sizes to try uh, they sent me the large the extra large and the double X and as it turns out the extra large are the size that fit me the best and these are winter motorcycle riding gloves of course you could use them for snowmobiles or any kind of outdoor activity and they're actually uh, they're actually very warm they have them in two colors they come in black or red and black and I'll just point out some of the features in case you're wondering and I think one of the greatest features of these gloves is that they're very inexpensive I think they're 25 or 26 dollars a pair you know so you, for the price I don't think you can beat them uh, the extra large fit me pretty well they have a hard like a I don't know what kind of plastic it is but a hard plastic knuckle protector they have some kind of a sticky rubber material that's kind of vulcanized to the palms uh, I guess to help you grip your hand grips better but there is a, it's a really kind of sticky material I don't know if you can see that or not and then there's the knuckle protectors and they claim that they're breathable and I have no reason to believe otherwise they also claim that they're waterproof and I have not put that to the test yet but when I get home I think I might just dunk them under the sink and see how waterproof they really are because it, it doesn't look like waterproof material it some of the material looks to me like it you know water might absorb through it but I don't know I haven't tested it yet so I will and let you know 
they are fairly comfortable I would say especially for the price um, I have a lot of trouble finding gloves that fit my hands my hands are not very large and so I really struggle to find gloves that are comfortable and functional and I would say uh, these are pretty much in the middle of the pack I have a, a, a one. I have a couple of other pair of winter riding gloves. I have one that I got from Harley Davidson many, many years ago that are leather, and I have another pair from Olympia. And the problem I've always found with winter riding gloves is that you don't have as much uh, tactile ability if you're trying to use touch screens, and I think that's just the nature of the beast. I think winter riding gloves are so much thicker that it just they're just not as uh, responsive in that regard. However, I will say that this these gloves do have a, like a little leather wrap around on the fingertips. I, I assume it's leather or vinyl. I'm probably vinyl. And uh, you can, you know, tap touch screens like on my GPS so it does it does work it's just uh, a little hard to control because the tip of the glove is so large but if you're careful as you can see I can make it work so that's nice that you do have that control now I got the stupid GPS talking to me through the helmet so let me see if I can st stop that so I am going to put a link in the description of this video where you can order these on Amazon. I have them in my Amazon store also. And I uh, got a special deal for you through about for about the next month, I think till November 21st. You can save 15% if you use the code CRUISEMANG. And I'll put that code in the description too. You'll save 15% on these gloves. So it's a pretty good deal. I think for less than $25, uh, you can get a set of winter riding gloves. And uh, this is the second time I've worn these. And I think the more that I wear them, the more I like them. They are warm. Uh, they do actually uh, keep your hands warm. And of course, again, it's only about 60, maybe 59 degrees today. But... Um, I can kind of tell they they seem to have a pretty warm, comfortable interior that uh, keeps your hands warm and it's kind of a soft, I wouldn't say it's fleece, but it's a fleece-like material. So, you know, again, for less than $25 with the coupon code, you can't beat the price. Now, I will tell you that Normally, I would wear a large. Uh, when I buy gloves, I'd say most other glove brands that I buy are large. And I tried on the large they sent me, and they were just too small. But the extra large fit me. The double X was a little too big. But the extra large fit me. So I would suggest you might need to go up one size from what you're used to on the size chart when you buy gloves and I would say if you normally wear a double X glove you could try the double X in this but I'm not sure it'll fit you it might be too small the, these these do run a little small so but if you normally wear a medium I would try the large if you normally wear a large I'd try the extra large and that's what I'm wearing so check out these uh, motorcycle gloves from Kimimoto. Thank you, Kimimoto, for sending me these. Uh, I'm going to continue to try them out. And that brings me to kind of close up the video. I'll just remind everybody we're still at the very end, the last week of our October promotion on the 2018 Plus Honda Goldwing maintenance videos. So I want to thank all of you again today for joining me on Cruise Man's Garage Motor Vlog. Check out the Kimimoto Motorcycle Winter Riding Gloves at, uh, the, at the link below uh, through the Amazon store. Yeah, look in the description. 
and the link will be there and don't forget to use the promo code or the coupon code cruiseman g to save 15 percent on these gloves i've also got some sunglasses from kimimoto that i'll be testing out and i've got a lot of videos on the burner on the back burner coming up we're going to be doing some Keyson products and just all kinds of cool stuff well i was done with my video but i want to insert one a couple of other thoughts on these gloves that i just thought about as i was on my way back home i'd already finished up the video but this is kind of a you know too late to publish type of thing uh, I want to also mention that these gloves are gauntlet gloves, so they do fit over the sleeves of your jacket. I'm not sure if you can see in the video here how these have slipped over my uh, sleeves, which is nice. The gauntlet is a little tight. Um, so if you have very big arms, uh, very thick uh, wrist, you know, I'm not sure. I have a pretty thin wrist, so they fit over mine fine. You also have this little adjustment strap here to tighten up to, to get the gloves to be more secure, which is a nice feature. And then you've got some other little rubber parts on the knuckles and uh, here on the thumb. So I just forgot to mention that uh, about these gloves, and I thought I'd point out those features. I do notice there's a lot of space between the tip of the finger and the tip of the glove so that makes it a little less uh, tactile when you're trying to use a touch screen uh, but if you practice you can make it work as I was able to with my GPS so just wanted to make sure you had that extra information about these Kimimoto gloves like I say I think for the price uh, they seem to be a very good value, but I will do more long-term testing with these. I'll be riding in through the winter with these gloves and trying them out more. Don't forget, October promotion on the 2018 Plus Goldwing Maintenance videos. This is the last week, your last chance to buy at this price. Check them out at cruisemansgarage.com. And if you like this video, I'd appreciate it if you'd uh, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe by clicking the little subscribe button. And if you click the bell icon, YouTube will notify you when I come out with new videos. Thanks again for joining me on this beautiful Monday morning. And I will see you on the next Cruise Man's Motor Vlogs.